Today's the day. Today's the day. We're releasing Live Plot, a WYSIWYG interface that lets you map out your fixtures in a live plot for lightning fast selections, actions, and seamless communication across sessions. This isn't just another feature. It's an absolute game changer. Why? Well, because with LivePlot, you also get DMX input. And what does that mean? That means that you can now use Blackout and LivePlot alongside any console or controller on the market. Here's how it works. I simply recreate the same patch as whatever console I'm using. In this case, my MA2. Turn on DMX input in Blackout and voila, everything I do in MA is instantly read via the network by Blackout and displayed seamlessly across the app in pillbox view, table view, and of course, live plot. This means that you can now hand off a live map to your gaffer who can move around the set with a fully customizable layout, seeing all of the real-time data they need because they can even customize what parameters they need info from per icon. Now, here's the crazy thing. If you tap the QR code up in the top right, any device on the same network can client into this live plot map, whether it's a phone, tablet, Mac, or even PC because it's a web browser session. And everything I do in Blackout's live plot is synced to the clients in real time. Now the clients are view only sessions right now, but we have some developments in the works. Now, if that's not enough, the DMX input can actually be rerouted, meaning that you can output from a media server, such as Madrix or MadMapper on universe 101, but then reroute that to universe one where your real fixtures are patched and do an HTTP merge in the process. This means that I can control my fixtures via blackout, but still allow the color information for pixel mapping to be sent from Madrix or MadMapper as a fully cohesive experience. Let's dive into how LivePlot is set up. Once you've purchased the LivePlot upgrade, tap the logo in the top right corner of your profile. If you see LivePlot listed, you're ready to roll. Just back out of your project and re-enter to see the new live plot tab. After patching your fixtures, head over to the live plot tab and switch to edit mode. It'll be obvious because the button now turns red. Now you're ready to start placing fixtures. See that little plus icon? Tap that to enter placement mode. On the left sidebar, you can set a target and a starting number and increment. Find your icon, then tap the plot where you want your fixtures and they will link to your patched fixtures. By default, they will have the intensity and color temperature parameters listed below. Their fill color and stroke color will be automatically linked to the color of the fixture and the fill opacity will always be linked to the intensity of the fixture. Once you've placed a group of fixtures, use the edit tools at the top to quickly and easily clean up your placement. I can choose the stack grid option to make these into a two by five grid. Drag the bottom right corner to scale proportionally or use the other handles to scale without constraints. Once you find your sizing, switch selection modes from resize to distribution mode by tapping the hand icon in the bottom left of the screen. Now check this out. When you drag the handles, you're now distributing your icons within the bounding box for super fast placement. And here's the best part. No matter how you rotate or flip your icons, the text will always stay facing you. That means zero hassle, no annoyances, and one less thing to worry about. It just works. Now I can customize these icons further in the left sidebar. The fill opacity, again, will always be linked to the intensity of the fixture, but you can choose the fill color or stroke color if you don't want those linked to the actual fixture's color. Choose the stroke width, adjust the opacity of the icons themselves, and of course, choose the parameters you want displayed below the icon or around the icon. Say I want to duplicate this same setup over here. I can easily clone my selection move them into place, and now reassign them new targets by going over to the target tab. 
tap in a blank area to clear, then tap a single icon so you can target it. Choose your target in the left sidebar, then tap your next icon, and so on until you're done. It's the fastest targeting assignment you'll ever use. Now there's one more thing that's pretty powerful in Liveplot, and that is layers. As you are aware, lights always play on different levels in a set. Some are hung, some are on the ground, some are in between. Right now, we've been placing all of our fixtures on a single layer, layer one. But you'll find that you can speed up your workflow tenfold if you distribute your icons across multiple layers. What I like to do is put either fixture types on separate layers or the levels of lights on separate layers. Imagine all of these lights were hung and they are on layer one, the topmost layer. But now we need to add lights underneath them. Simply tap the new layer button and notice it will automatically switch you to that layer, which means you will now be placing on that layer. You can long press any layer to switch to it in the quick panel or open up the layers panel in the sidebar by using the top icon and tap a layer to switch to it there. Notice that a short press in the quick panel hides the layer. So once I'm set up, now I can add my ground row of lights on this new layer. Once you're done placing your objects, simply tap the edit mode to go back to live mode. And now you can't move objects or icons anymore, but you can now marquee select. And what makes live mode super powerful are the snapshots on the right. Pinch and drag to find your initial position and hide or show any layers you want for that snapshot. Now, long press a number and it will take a snap of that position with whatever layers you have showing. Now let's switch up our layers, move around a little and take a new snapshot. I can quickly go back and forth between these two snapshots and easily grab all of my ground row lights separated from my hanging lights or use a third snapshot or the layers quick panel to grab all of them. If that's not enough, I know that selecting fixtures can be tough. So we made an easy command button to allow for disconnected selections. Simply tap the command button to toggle it and start selecting away. You can make this button a hold if you plan to use Liveplot with two hands and need to be even quicker with your selections by tapping the settings button in the top right of Liveplot. Now that's cool and all, but here's the ultimate value. You can now completely customize your workspace because you can add any component to Liveplot, not just fixtures. This means that I can make a macros panel, add favorites, groups, looks, whatever you want in whatever way you want it. Now go have some fun, show me what you can do with Liveplot, and happy new year.